So you must have a very positive outlook at the independent retail community. Yeah, we do. I think they have a unique story. They have a unique brand, and they should be able to win in their local market compared to the box stores. I mean, we have a rallying cry and a marketing campaign we launched a few weeks ago called Beat the Box Stores, which went viral in our you know small flooring community, but that's kind of, in essence, what we're all about. Do you work outside of the floor covering industry as well? No. 100% floor covering industry. And it doesn't sound like you have your your site set outside of the industry, you know, near term or long term. We have 160 employees across the country, all 100% focused on the flooring industry, and it's going to stay that way for the foreseeable future. Now, I've got a digital marketing guy on, John Simonson. You know him, and I've interviewed him hundreds of times. He seems to think that many of the retailers in this industry are sort of behind the times and difficult to get them up to speed. They sort of know it's a good idea, but they resist doing it. How do you deal with that, if, if, if that's true? Yeah, we're 10 years behind every other industry out there, but we all know the internet is here. We all know that digital advertising is way more effective than radio, billboards, and TV. Um, it's a matter of education, right? It's a matter of education, and what's great about the flooring industry is a lot of these stores are family-run businesses. So. If the parents may not understand, well, I can promise you the kids understand and they're pushing that narrative. Um, but listen, we saw it happen in automotive. We saw it happen in a lot of other industries. It's here. There's no denying that the internet and digital advertising works. It's just a matter of education and a little bit of patience, but it'll come. So then it sounds like you really concentrate a lot of your efforts on the second generation types in, in this business. And I know a lot of a lot of retailers are owned by boomers, and I suspect they're maybe have their eye on retirement and aren't really interested in anything new at this yep. point. So is that where, I mean, is that what the people you have all over the country concentrate their efforts? No, I mean, we try to educate everyone, right? At the end of the day, there's a huge education phase, but I do think you're going to see, as you see a turnover of some of these stores to um, their children, you're going to see that these software programs get pushed a little bit to take that next step. A lot of the software here is old software. And it's very hard to build new software in this industry. It's hard to connect to B2B and all of the EDI feeds and get all the product catalogs. But the strides I've seen the industry make in one year, if we could do that for a couple more years, I'm really excited about the future.